All right, uh, Sushil says, hi, I need some help. My school is planning to switch to a new Microsoft account, which means all my class notebooks and class teams, so the last three years, will no longer be accessible. Is there any most efficient way to take the backup of all the class notebook content? Interesting question, and it can come in two different scenarios, or multiple scenarios, I should say. So the way I read the question, is that uh, you're getting a new account in the same tenant. So you're logging into the same office.com, it's the same domain, but for some reason they've given you a new account, right? So all of those assets that were tied to your other account are now going away. Uh, you can, uh, while you have access to your existing account, uh, copy uh, or make a backup of your, your OneNote uh, or, uh, you could also, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say or. What I meant to say is uh, download or copy that OneNote off and save it. Uh, the next part is getting access to, all, retaining your access to all of those uh, team class sites. Uh, make yourself, with your new account, a co-owner, and then you'll have all of that access. And I guess I don't really know where your OneNote is. If it's in your OneDrive, then it's that file copy that I, I I mentioned earlier, but if it's still in the team and you're a co-owner, it's not going anywhere unless your organization has some type of expiration and cleanup on those teams. That could happen, but there's a lot of situations there. Now for a tenant change, well, I think yeah, there's others that, on the call. That's how I read this is that when I, when I hear, hey, there's a new account, you think about that, there's a new account when you go in and create a team, you know, it's the, essentially it's you, a new account generates a new tenant. So, you know, it, it, I've experienced this where we might have like, you know, the av point site, but we create a new, uh, we have a new account and it might now be the av point Inc tenant, you know, and, and so we might replicate everything. It might look exactly the same and build those things out. But now if they're, if you're talking about between different tenants, then you're talking about, you may be limiting what you can do when you're talking about all these classes, everything that you have access to, you can still go and save things down to your OneDrive, have access to those, mm -hmm. pull those down locally, or you can look at third-party solutions for doing a teams-to-team -team migration, because that's a lot of what they're they're good at. So whether you, and, and we're talking about education scenario, but even if you're with a company and maybe you acquire uh, another company, and so there's two different tenants, and you want to merge those things in, it's this. It's a similar scenario where you have all these different teams where maybe you want to replicate those teams and move everything across, or you just want to um, uh, grab certain components of that. Um, another option, so there's the teams to team migration. Another aspect is a doing a granular backup. So the third party backup solutions will allow you, unlike you might, you, your, your school may have an all up Azure backup, but then won't you let you have the granular control just to go and pull the one notes out of those teams that you're looking at. The third party backup, like, you know, my company has one, you know, allows you to go in at a very granular level and back up everything, but then pull out and restore or move over to the new environment, just the granular components, the one notes uh, having to do with those three teams. So, I mean, all, all of those scenarios are obviously a bit more involved. If you're just a user on these systems thinking, how do I rescue my OneNotes? Uh, you have to, those, you need admin access to be able to go and do those to back up or do a migration. Um, so if it's just an individual, maybe that's a third way to answer this. Maybe it's closer norm to the, the first answer is, locally go and back those things up, which you have access yeah. to while you have access to them and use OneNote for that or OneDrive for that. Right. And the reason why I answered it that way is when I worked in education, you'd often have uh, like a graduate student. They're still a student with that student I ID in the system. And then when they transitioned to uh, an employee, it would be a different ID. And so trying to bridge those two were, were oftentimes the, the thing that they had to do. They didn't want to live in two different worlds, like a, a grad student world and a, an employee world. So 
moving thing over and consolidating an account makes makes sense to me from that perspective. That's like deja vu because if you've ever dealt with the dilemma of the Microsoft account versus the work or school account. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yep. It's, it's the same nightmare. name. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> What are you talking about a nightmare, Mike? Everybody loves maintaining four or five oh. completely different logins. Of course. <laughs> That's why they make these password keepers, you know, and these automatic login. So people right. can just, you know, not even remember out of sight, out of mind. <laughs>